Hi, my name is Kari Randolph, and today I'm drawing Spider-Man. I moved to New York from Boston in 1996. To, to go to art school. And so that was my first real time of being in New York. And it was just a, it was mind blowing. Like, you know, you walk around New York and you see all these landmarks that you either seen in movies or in comic books or the music you listen to. And all of a sudden, you, it's just all in front of you and it's real. It's impossible to not be creative in a city that's always moving and always living, it never stops. So within like a week of being here, I was like, I can't go back home. Like this is clearly the place that I need to be at. When I walk around this street, I take pictures all the time, just for reference. Because I like, I, I feel as an artist, it's important to not just draw generic buildings. And you know, New York has so much character and personality. You want to treat it as its its own character. When you recognize a place, that makes it that much more believable to your eyes. I found out about comics at an early age. My mother's a teacher, and so she was always very invested in me reading and reading early. Uh, drawing Spider-Man is what you dream of when, when you're a kid reading those comic books and you're saying, wow, I, I hope one day I can do something like this. Going from the art table to New York Comic Con, it, it can be a little jarring because uh, you honestly, you spend most of your day at an art table or at your computer and you're by yourself. So you're really in your own thoughts and you're not talking to a lot of people, you're really just, it's just this and the art. Uh, and then you come to New York Comic Con and it's just like you and the art and 1,000 other people. It's really interesting seeing someone wearing a cosplay of a character that you designed. Uh, it, it makes you realize that the things that we create have real weight in the real world. And that's one of those crazy New York moments that like you really can't replicate anywhere else. When I was in, in college, I moved here in 96 to go to the School of Visual Arts. It was all traditional artwork until our senior year. And there was an elective class that was introduction to Photoshop. And it wasn't required at the time but some told me, that, yeah, it seems like it might be important to figure out how to work on a computer. Like this might be something that, that will be helpful down the line. And lo and behold, most of my artwork these days is done on the computer. I still tend to do pages by hand, but then I'll scan them in and correct them in Photoshop. And once I'm done correcting it, it's ready and prepped for the next step of the stage with the colors. It's such an opportunity to, to come from where I come and to, to be leaving out exactly the dream that I had as a kid. You know, a lot of people don't have that opportunity to do exactly what you want to do. And to say, when I was 13, I said, boy, I hope one day I could draw Spider-Man. So now, as a 30-year-old, to now be doing that exact thing 20-something years later, it's like one of the greatest honors and thrills of my life. One of my best friends in the industry is Riley Brown. He draws Deadpool and he created Deadpool's wife, Shikla. There was a Deadpool cosplayer and a Shikla cosplayer and they came to his table and all of a sudden this dude is proposing to his wife in front of your table. Like you kind of made that happen. Like that's, that's wild.